Hi, I'm Carly Verhoeven and I'm at Sherwood in Kitchener today. I'm about to speak with General Manager Pat Lackenbauer about the LRT construction on Ottawa Street and how it's affected business. Before we get into that, let's take a look at some of the iron construction closures happening in our region. Parkside to the north side of Northfield is open. Access to Coombe from Northfield is open. The northbound on-ramp from Northfield to Highway 85 is also open. The northbound and southbound off-ramps from Highway 85 to Northfield and the southbound on-ramp from Northfield to Highway 85 are open as well. Seagram at the railway tracks is open as well as the railway crossings at Barringer and University. The Waterloo Park parking lot at Seagram is closed. Alternate parking is available in the lot just northwest of the railway tracks. Caroline and Herb Street is open. Intermittent lane closures will still be required in and around the intersection to complete remaining curb, landscaping and sidewalk work. King from William to Union is open, including the intersection of King and Allen near the Bower Lofts. King from Herb to William is closed until late November. Uptown Waterloo remains accessible using Caroline and Regina. Pedestrian access on King is maintained. Access to the Waterloo Town Square North parking lot from Caroline is open. A pedestrian detour is in place from Caroline to Willis Way and through the Waterloo Town Square North parking lot. The intersection closure at King and Wellington will be extended until approximately the end of November. Access to the 607 King Plaza is maintained from Wellington to King. Victoria from Joseph to Duke is now open to two-way traffic, including the intersection of King and Victoria. King and Moore remains closed until late October for construction of the grade separation at the railway tracks. Duke and Frederick is closed until approximately early November. Frederick and King is closed until approximately mid-November. Charles Borden to Ottawa is open to two-way traffic. Dundas at Ottawa is closed until approximately mid-December. Ottawa and Cortland is closed until approximately late November. Traffic is one way from Cortland to Charles until late 2016. Block line in Cortland is now open. Two-way traffic is maintained on Cortland. Hayward at the railway tracks is closed until late 2016. Local traffic is maintained on Hayward up to the railway crossing. Wilson from Fairway to Kingsway is now open. I talked to Sherwood General Manager Pat Lackenbauer about iron construction and how it's put a strain on business since it started. Yeah, I mean, certainly since it's begun, uh, our retail arm of the company has slowed down a fair amount probably over the last summer that since they started back in April. Uh, so it hasn't been a joy, that's for sure. But uh, we're lucky because we've got a lot of different divisions for the company. So the retail arm is just sort of one segment of what we do. Why do you think the store was affected? Well, I think it's pretty clear. I mean, it's Ottawa Street's a main street for us. We're right off of that. Um, so as soon as that closes down, we just don't have as many people coming by and their vehicles just stop in traffic. But it's been going on all around town anyways in Kitchener-Waterloo and people are just, I think they get fed up. They, they just sort of come to a certain point and they're like, ah, even if it's just a little small detour, ah, I'll just go home. But, you know, really the truth of the matter is to get here anyways, it's just a short little detour around. But I just think people are you know, getting a little fed up with it. I mean, hopefully at the end of the day, it's going to be good for everyone. But uh, as of right now, I think people are just, you know, turning, turning tail and run. <laughs> I'm sure with school on, you have a lot of students coming here for music lessons. Yeah. So what's the best route for people to get here if they're looking to come to Sherwood? Probably the best bet is uh, the most straightforward is if you're coming down King Street, it's to go down Borden to Nyberg. It's really fairly simple. Instead of going one step further down to Ottawa Street, uh, just going down Borden, turning on Nyberg. It's really not that far out of the way, to be honest. <laughs> it's just that people are used to Ottawa. But, you know, one side street, if you're coming from one direction, it's down Borden. You come from another direction down King Street, it's on Sydney. If the city were to go through this process again and start over, would you have any recommendations for how to change things? Or, or are you generally happy with how things went? As far as the construction goes? Yes. Um, I wouldn't say I'm happy with the way it came down. I mean, it is what it is. You know, as a, as a city, we got to figure out what's best for the city, and hopefully this is going to benefit all at the end of the day. But for small businesses, it's a bit of a struggle to get through all that. Uh, I think my suggestion, but, you know, this is just an easy, quick suggestion on the spot here, is just 
trying to zone it a little bit better, do areas at a particular time instead of opening up at all sorts of different locations. People get really frustrated and it's hard to get around. But again, at the end of the day, we're just hoping that it's going to benefit everyone for sure at the end of the day. Okay, so let's talk about Sherwood and some of the products. Yeah. First impression, you have a lot of guitars hanging on the wall. We've got it all. I mean, uh, our retail environment, sort of all different instruments, guitars, drums, keyboards. Um, but we also have PA equipment. Uh, we've got recording equipment, DJ equipment, lighting. So, you know, we used to be two stores and they sort of handled different products. Now that it's one, they can, anyone in the music industry can come here and pretty well get everything that they want, as well as accessories like strings and capos and cabling and connectors and you know just just about everything so but retail again is just sort of one division of what our company is so can you tell me about this second division well there's more than two uh, I mean in this particular building that we're in right now there's this retail environment that we have we have lessons so we teach whole drums guitars vocals everything um, we've got a small rental company for audio lighting staging we've got service here so a luthier on the spot for instruments we've got a PA uh, service guy but we have another building pretty well the size around the corner that's our production so we do production and installations so everything like blues fest uh, October fest we do all of the production for that audio lighting staging technicians trucking you know that's the biggest part of our company if Thankfully for those divisions of our company, when things slow down, either from the season or from the LRT, we can pick it up in a different part of our company. But that's, I mean, that's really the biggest part of our company by far. For more information, what is your website and social media account? So again, we started, we had Sherwood Music and Sherwood Systems. Just so happens that we kept the Sherwood Systems uh, website. So it's SherwoodSystems.com. That's uh, the best way to get hold of us. And on there is all of our social media links to Facebook and Twitter and uh, Instagram and all those things. So they can check out our website and pretty well find anything on there. You can sign up for lessons. You can book rental gear on there uh, to give you a bit of an idea of what we carry here in the store. So it'll give you all the details there. Portland and Ottawa streets will reopen sometime in late November. If you'd like to come to Sherwood, you can take the detours of Bedford and Borden. To stay up to date on all of the iron construction closures, visit rideion.ca. For Rogers TV, I'm Carly Verhoeven.